Hey, hey, YouTube Red Sox fan! Finally back again with Let's Play World of Warcraft. Oh, this is Vanilla World of Warcraft. This is episode 43, and I'm here, finally back. I know it's been a very, very long time since I've made an episode, and I apologize. But it's probably been about two weeks, but I should have made an update video explaining uh, my absence from videos, because I know I haven't made any new Hearthstone videos either, and two new quarters have already been released for that game, as well as not making a new episode for this, and let me just say really quickly, that was because a good friend of uh, my family took me and my younger sister to the East Coast for a week, and we visited Boston and New York, so I was on a little vacation, I suppose you can call it that. We went to a few a few baseball games at Fenway Park, because, you know, obviously, Red Sox fan. Love the Red Sox, so I went there. Uh, that was my second time being over there uh, at Fenway Park, and we went to a game, and we actually beat the Yankees, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, back to this Let's Play. I am here in Stranglethorn Vale, and I'm at the uh, I'm at Nessie Murray's Expedition. There are actually two quests to go talk to this guy. One I picked up in Shimmering Flats, and the other I got in Booty Bay should be uh, investigate the camp uh, he just wants us to go and locate the camp so all you have to do is like run into the center of it and uh, you complete it and then you can go take that back to whoever gave it to me in booty bay someone did uh, so this is Cravel's crate we can give to him get 30 silver and let's see welcome to the jungle speak with him at necessary and after we do that welcome to the jungle we will get oh geez lots of quests just pop up uh, I'm not going to be doing the Green Hills of Stringer for Learn. I don't think it's worth it uh, for what we get out of it for all the grinding you need to do or buying them on the auction house. But I will pick up these three from Sir S.J. Erlgaden and Ajek Rauk, and then from him at Nessing Learn himself. Basically, oh, my quest looks full. Uh, I figured that would happen. This guy killed me before, so. Oh, he's going to kill me again, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm gonna go, hold on one second, I'm gonna go kill this guy. Nah, you're dead now, bruh. Sorry that happened. That's okay. I'm gonna have to kill this tiger. Ugh. Yeah, um I guess I didn't talk for for a little while. But uh what happened was Lotharis killed me before I was just running around and I was just trying to heal and run away. I wasn't trying to fight him. Uh but he ended up killing me, and so I guess that was a little revenge revenge kill. Anyway. Let's go ahead and I feel like I cut all that stuff out. No, I won't. That's fine. Um, I have to get rid of a quest. Scroll monster. I can pick one of these. Ooh, a little laggy. Um, I can pick one of those up again. Which one? I'm not. I'm probably gonna not, not gonna go to Desolus, so I'll get rid of that one and pick up this one. The Raptor Mastery. So basically, there are three um, short little quest lines. Well, they're not really short. They're very grindy. Um, in not that above in Stranglethorn Vale. So Panther Mastery, Tiger Mastery, and Raptor Mastery. So the first three, this is like the first tier of the quests, and they want us to kill. Uh, it wants us to kill Stranglethorn Raptors, uh, Young Panthers, and Young Stranglethorn Tigers. So we have to kill ten of each. Actually, let me go ahead and do this. Pop these up on here. And I'm not. I'm just gonna cut cut back and forth, trying to. I'm gonna apologize to her. I can't really stop the hunter from killing her, but that's okay. She was a friend. She didn't attack me. She loved me. So. 
let's see. The young strangler and tigers are, are located around the camp. The panthers are located um, around this area, and then the I think the 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 raptors are up around here somewhere. We'll find out eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and buff up and. I'm going to cut away every now and then just because I'm not going to kill 30. It would take, it would probably take about half an hour just showing me killing 30 mobs in total and plus all the running around I have to do. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, cut back and forth. But in the meantime, I am quite happy if, uh, for doing these quests because these, all of these. Uh, mobs are loot are skinnable. I shouldn't say lootable. Well, obviously they're lootable, but they're skinnable. So that makes me happy. And he's gonna kill that Stranglethorn tiger. So I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, I'm gonna cut away. Uh, I'm gonna take care of the rest of these young Stranglethorn tigers, and then I'm going to meet you guys over wherever the young panthers spawn, and I'll start killing the young panthers as well. So in the meantime, uh, I don't know what I was going to say, so I'll see you in a few seconds. Alright, everybody. Now that I have finished killing my ten young Stranglethorn Raptors, which you can find located just to the east of Nesting Larry's Expedition. There are plenty of them, so don't worry about that. Uh, now, if you want to kill the uh, Stranglethorn Raptors next, basically just kind of run up. There's this little... Well, it's not on the map, but there's like a little ramp right here that... Or like a hill you can run through. And uh, they're pretty much all located over here with the uh, Panthers, which are. We'll, we're gonna have to come back here eventually and kill them. I don't know. I think we can only do a certain amount, like the first three quests, and then we can probably do the next three in line. But the last. The last tier of quests are about 36, 37 uh, mobs, uh, so I don't think we can do that for a little while. And then after that we have to kill like kind of the, the mini boss for each of these race of anima, monsters, animals. So there's a, a raptor that we have to kill and then a panther and then a tiger and then after all that we have to kill um, King Bangalash which most of you probably know who that is. It's probably one of the best. I forgot to uh, skin this raptor. One of the best hunter pets uh, at this point in the game. So yeah, these are where the um, Stranglethorn Raptor, ra uh, bleh, Stranglethorn Raptors are located. Uh, and after I take them out, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and buff up a bit. After I, I'm gonna cut away, and I'll take care of all these guys, and then I'll meet you over. It's across the river. There's a little bridge here, and these are where all the young panthers are located. So I will see you guys in just a minute. Hey, everybody. Oh, snap. I'm going to have to take on two of these guys at once. I don't know if I can hang. I am back uh, taking on these young panthers, and uh, two of them actually mobbed, uh, ganging up on me at once. They're only level... 31, both of them actually, so it shouldn't be too difficult. As I mentioned before, they're located just past the little bridge thing that leads up th through the Duskwood and the Alliance. The there's a little Alliance quest hub camp up there, I think. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, uh, here are the Young Panthers are located around here, and I'm going to be taking them out eventually. Uh, I already finished up with the Raptors, and that's why obviously I've I'm headed over to take care of these panthers as well. And I actually, I've ran into a few more alliance, but they weren't dicks and they didn't uh, openly attack me. They were all higher levels than I, so I was um, very grateful for that. That's uh, certainly something you have to look out for when you're leveling up or questing in contested zones. Uh, Stranglethorn Vale definitely is a big PvP area sort of like i want to say hills redfoot hills uh terran mill versus south shore speaking of which uh actually world of warcraft just announced on their website for their 10th anniversary they're they're bringing a couple things back they're they're bringing back i'm not sure if it's gonna be like uh like a battleground that you queue for or what but they're bringing back a uh, terran mill versus south shore in the hills, Redfoot Hills, and they're also bringing back a special 40-man raid version of Molten Core 
through the looking for a raid finder thing. So I don't know how well that would go, but that's definitely something that I guess you, you could be excited for if you're a veteran player. Go take out my searing totem, how dare you. So yeah, I'm going to be taking out these raptor or these panthers, excuse me, I've been killing raptors, too many raptors. And then I, once I'm done with tin, I'll meet you guys back at uh, Nesting Warrior's Camp, which is located right there. And we will turn in all these quests and pick up the next set. So, see check then. out what I just looted. This is ridiculous. Tundra Necklace of the Monkey. Uh, plus 5 Agi and plus 4 Stam. And guess what? I did not have a neck item prior to this. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and equip that. Get that plus 5 Agi, son. Mmm. That looks looking good. Raising my... Uh, crit strike chance so yeah uh i just wanted to cut cut in here really quickly and show you guys i got a new piece of armor that actually it took about 30 levels for me to get a neck item so yeah <laughs> um that's old school vanilla for you i guess i could have made one sooner if i was like and i think blacksmiths or maybe engineers can make neck items but I did not want to buy one on the auction house. So yeah, anyway, I have about four more panthers to go, and I will head on back to Himmet's camp. So I'll see All you guys. All right, everybody, back here at Nesting Worries Expedition. Let's go ahead and talk to, I guess we can talk to Himmet first and foremost. Turn in Raptor Mastery. And nicely done, old chap. And then he wants us to go kill ten Lash Tail Raptors. And Adjek over here is the Tiger Mastery. And then she wants us to go kill 10 Strigothorn Tigers. And then finally the Panther Mastery. And the next on the list is 10 regular old Panthers. I'm actually going to go ahead and try and sell stuff. Uh, I picked up a bunch of stuff I'm not going to need. Raptor Raptor Hides I might need. Um... For the leather working at some point man i tell you this zone is a leather workers haven um midnight axe what is this is a two-hand oh my i don't think it's worth four gold but i am definitely in dire need of a new weapon because i'm just using the staff for the past literally for the past like geez when did i do wailing caverns i think i was around level 20 so since then Anyway, uh, oh, I got polymorphed by someone. Why would you? Seriously, you're gonna, you're gonna do that, huh? Oh, sweet. I guess I'm still in Ghost Wolf. <laughs> I mean, I have the speed, but I'm not in Ghost Wolf. Wow, this is probably the best glitch I've ever seen. <laughs> wow, no, I have no words for this. This is, this is spectacular. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and run around and try and find where these Strengthorn Tigers are. There is an Orc Hunter. I guess I'll stay near him so I don't die. Um, there is a Rogue. There is an Elder Strengthorn Tiger. I don't think that's who we want to kill. We want to kill Strengthorn Tigers, not Elder Tigers. I think they're over here. Oh, but over here are some lootable elders and actually something that's been oh I thought I pressed shift I have to watch out for this guy he'll oh and that guy oh he disappeared at least I got one heavy uh, leather one thing that I've been kinda kicking myself about is my skinning is maxed out at 225 and I haven't been to a skinning trainer in a while but I don't think I can buy the next level until um, I'm 35 or 40. I don't know if that's right. I'll have to go and check out a trainer, but none of these are I want to kill. I'm going to get out of Ghost Wolf and go back in it just so I have the little the little wolf thing. Um, where are the tigers that I want to kill? They are not here. I think they're down in this area. Actually, no, they might be up here. Yeah, they're probably up there. I'm going to cut away really quick, and I will... I probably, you know what, I'm probably just gonna, woo. I'm probably just gonna try and kill, kill a few mobs so I can level up and, um, now probably in the episode. So let's go ahead and kill this guy very slowly, apparently. 
because I'm not and cannot kill him fast. Uh, I can go ahead and take this opportunity to talk about things. I actually don't know what I want to talk about. I could talk about my trip. I could talk about the fact that Nebraska football starts up again in about three weeks, and that is just oh, oh I feel so I'm so excited for that. I love college football. It's my favorite sport. Um, no, I'm a Red Sox fan. I know I love the Red Sox, but Nebraska football, I mean, there's nothing better than that. So that's that's how I stand on that issue, and it'll probably take me too many too many kills to level up. I'm going to, yeah, I'll just go ahead and, and I don't know what. Um, I'm not going to kill these guys. I guess I'll run up to the ruins and try and take out some mobs. An elder. Why is that showing up on my map? I don't get it. I don't think I have. I don't have like beast tracking, unless I get it with the ghost wolf. But no, you don't. So that was an odd. It has been doing that sometimes. A few times, little the mobs will show up on the map. Oh, there's a tiger. Oh, there's another tiger. Oh, awesome. So here's some tigers, and there's a panther. So we are in the right area that I want to be in to kill these guys. <clears throat> I guess you know what I'll, I'll kill I'll kill these these mobs until I level and then when I level up and I put my talent point in I'll cut away and finish killing both the tigers and the panthers and then I'll turn them in and that'll be that for this episode because the raptors the ra last shell raptors they're probably a bit too much for me to take on at this point and once I turn in these two panther and tiger mastery quests um, you know actually I probably can finish both of them because the elder strength of thorn tigers are only level 34 ish 35 ish so they aren't they aren't too bad hmm. the only problem is I I don't do very good damage I need it, what it's what it is it's my weapon I need a, a better weapon and also I don't have wind fury buffed so that is another reason I need to watch out for that more often um, a few things, whoa, a few things people comment a lot about, not, not so much anymore, but they used to, was the fact that I click a lot, and I have a, I have a World of Warcraft mouse that has keybinds, I don't really, I use it for like one, so like I have, I have one key, I mean I have like the map, I have, um, my bags, character pain, talent pain, but I don't know. I I guess it's just my playstyle. I don't really care about keybinds or anything. It's more comfortable for me just to go boo 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 boo. Especially because this mouse is pretty quick. It's laser precise. I think it's a Steel Series mouse, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is. Gaming grade uh, engine. So whatever that means, I have no idea. done and also actually something I want to talk about whoa just gonna loot the skin this guy uh, one more kill and I should probably ding uh, to level 33 as long as these guys don't steal my kills another thing is Blizzard just announced they're having a special reveal thing event going on I think it's August 15th it's gonna be in uh, Los Angeles at the Ace Hotel Theater and basically what it's gonna be is they're gonna reveal the the, the street date um, release for Warlords of Drainer which I'm guessing is gonna be in November I I'd be surprised if it, if it was in September I mean if it was in September it'd probably be near the end of September or October. I don't know why I said November. Yeah, you know, it could be. I think it's either going to be October or November. Um, I got my months mixed up there for a second. But they're also going to have. <clears throat> they're also going to live. They're going to live stream the event. So for people who aren't in Southern California, and can't go to the event, you can watch it on. I think their website. I don't know the exact details. But they're also going to be previewing or unveiling. I'm not previewing, but unveiling the new Warlords of Draenor cinematic, which as you know, Blizzard cinematics are probably 
ooh, ding dong, uh, some of the best in the industry. Um, and just just the difference. Like I love the I love the original vanilla cinematic and the the Burning Crusade one. And I think my favorite is probably the um, Wrath of Lich King one. But holy cow, the Cataclysm one was good and. Honestly, the Warlords of Draenor, or not Warlords of Draenor, what am I talking about? The Miss of Pandaria one, cinematic, it is probably the most graphically, aesthetically pleasing out of all of them. I mean, obviously because it's the most recent, but wow, that animation is just incredible. Like, seriously, they should make, a lot of people I know are talking about they're making the movie, but they should make the movie, like, in that style, like, it's an animated movie. Uh, it would look, oh my god, that I would pay to see that like about a hundred times that would look be look so amazing uh so now that we've leveled up uh we're here in our talent tree and i think what did i want to go into i got elemental weapons so that increases the effect of you know rock biter went for your weapon and then i think i want to go improved weapon totems increases the melee attack bonus of one fury totem and the damage of fling tongue the only problem is i don't really use wind fury as an air totem because I have one fury weapon. Hmm. I think for now I'll just go. I only need two more. I could just max out my improved lightning shield, so I'm gonna do that. Increases the damage done by your lightning shield orbs. So now that that happened, and I'm gonna cut away again. I will. Jeez. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take care of these. Panthers and Tigers, I'm going to have to kill 16 mobs. That I'm not looking forward to that. So, and after I'm done, I will meet you guys back at Nessenware's Expedition. It, you might see me cut cut in at some point if I get like some spectacular loot like I did before with uh, this new necklace that I have, or for some other reason that I can't foresee at the moment. Oh, and I got disconnected. Awesome. And until then, um, I guess I'll obviously have to cut away now, and you should see me guys back at Nesting Warriors Camp to turn in the Tiger and Panther Mystery Quests, so I will be right back. Alright guys, so after a long, long grind of killing the Tin Panthers and Tin Strangled Thorn Tigers, along with being ganked about three times by a level 40 rogue who had... I don't know what weapons he had, but he had the fire enchantment on both of them, uh, fire weapon on both of them. Uh, I finally finished these quests, and I'm back here turning them in, Panther Mastery. So when we turn that in, the next quest that Sir S.J. Erlgaden wants us to complete is to kill 10 Shadow Maw Panthers, which is quite a chore. And when we turn in Tiger Mastery, the next one in this quest chain is to kill 10 Elder Strength Thor Tigers. That one isn't as bad. Um, as you see, Tiger Mastery is still yellow. They're about 34, 35, so they're not that bad uh, level-wise. Raptor Mastery will take a little while for me to level up to do that. And as you can see, Panther Mastery is red, so that will definitely take some time for me to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell my stuff to this superior axe crafter. I picked up a tailoring pattern along the way at some point, but I don't know if I'm just going to sell it to vendor or sell it on the auction house. They're probably pretty rare, or I mean um, common, so I don't know if they're worth it to sell on the auction house. So that's it for this episode. It turned out longer than it should have just because I, I kind of rambled on for a bit while I was killing mobs in order to level up on screen. Uh, we're about 15% of the way to 34, so that's always good news. And there's a rogue here, 32. I'm not going to kill him. Uh, hopefully she doesn't attack me. So, in the next episode, we'll be... Uh, we'll probably still be in Stranglethorn Vale. There are a lot of quests for me to do in this zone. Um, probably most of them are going to be around... <laughs> the fire got that guy out of stealth. They're going to be around Gromgal Base Camp... Um, and over maybe in Curzon's compound. I'm not sure. But until then, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it, it took a while for me to make a new episode. That's just because I was out of town. And I hope you guys don't 
didn't get too antsy uh, waiting for a new episode and I would say expect more Hearthstone videos because the military and the construct quarter have both been released since I've been out of town and uh, I actually bought when I bought them there were only 700 gold a piece as are the rest of the wings or quarters I should say and I had a lot of I have a lot of gold so that's not a problem uh, and I will definitely be making oh the dude's gonna attack me I'm not gonna attack him back I'm just gonna die I'll sit down I'll try and heal myself oh can I get it no I can't get it that's okay so yeah uh, in the next episode I don't know I should probably end this episode now so goodbye